Dinosaur Day is an annual Burke event. It's a family event we have every year, and it is probably our single most popular day at the museum. Uh, an attendance of about 2,000 people. I think it's because everyone loves dinosaurs, um, especially little kids. And so it's our day each year that we bring fossils out of the collection, bring them upstairs, um, let people see them, let people have you know, no glass in between them and the tri Triceratops fossil or something like that, and they get a really good chance to see the fossil up close and talk to paleontologists to find out you know, all the, the questions that they've been always wanting to ask someone. So it's not only just seeing fossils, but kids can actually crack open their own fossil and take one home with them. Fossil plants from Republic Washington. Um, they get a chance to draw dinosaurs. They get a chance to dress up like dinosaurs. They get a chance to sort of, you know, become a dinosaur for the day. Kids have a passion for dinosaurs that um, is really great to see. I mean, it's, it's, it's sort of their interest in the natural world and their interest in history. And I love sort of being able to sort of communicate my interest in both of those fields to someone who's really just as interested as I am. Uh, the single most popular question is, is this real? And, uh, and I love to be able to say to kids, yes, this is the actual 65 million year old Tyrannosaurus tooth. Um, and let them actually feel the, the tooth and see the, the cutting edge on it. And, and, and that kind of stuff is just great. Because it really, you know, it's one of those real formative experiences that people uh, think about fossils as these big and dead things. But, you know, you forget that they're actually, you know, what makes up the fossil record are actually these individual pieces here and there. And, uh, and it's a real great opportunity for little kids to actually see the real thing. The other thing we do every year at Dino Day is we actually prepare fossils live. So we actually do the extraction of that bone or whatever it is out of the rock in front of people. So we have a nice plexiglass shield so kids can get right up next to it and actually see the bone emerge from that rock. And so our preparator, Bruce Crowley, this is what he does every day. He does it 40 hours a week. But on dino day, he sits there with a lamp and his microscope and everything and a video camera showing what he sees uh, projected behind him so the kids can actually see how long it takes and how careful you have to be and the kind of patience you have to have to sort of extract that fossil. I think the museum is a great link between the research that happens on campus and the Washington State and Seattle communities. Um, so many people think that the, the university, you know, has got all of this high-tech research going on and it's true. Um, but the museum is sort of the best place, I think, to share what's happening on campus, not just in natural sciences, but in um, ethnology or Native American studies or anything like that into the greater community. Um, and we're the natural venue for it. I mean, you know, the thing is that uh, we are the Washington State Natural History Museum, and we're basically the Seattle Natural History Museum. Nowhere else in Seattle can you go and see real fossils on display any day of the year. Um, and these kind of public displays or public events are even better at drawing people in who sometimes forget about what's happening on campus. I think all kids go through that phase in life when they love dinosaurs, and I guess some of us just never grow out of it.